Betty Loader going for a Muffalo. How is your chance to hit? Boy, you are really putting yourself in a shit spot for hunting. Think ahead, sir. Can you hunt this one instead, maybe? Thank you. 17%. It's laying down, so 20%. Weather, 80%. Ugh. Hey, it doesn't stop you, though. Well done. Fucking, you didn't bring a... Didn't bring a meal with you. The only profession in which actually bringing a meal with you would be a really nice, awesome thing. You guys always bring meals with you. You're always pocketing the damn things. Right, bring it back. Clear the work. Bring it up with ya. What's your story? Oh, Warg. Ugh. Cougar. Ugh. <laughs> That's a bunch of stuff I don't want to fight. Speaking of, though, we could probably get our wall going a bit. We have enough uh, granite to do that. It'd be a nice construction project for everybody since the smoothing is all finally finished up. We still need some floors in these bedrooms. But the smoothing's finished up. So... We'll do... Just like... That, I think. Get a couple granite doors set up so we can easily leave from multiple directions. Actually, over there would be really good. And up there. Because that's the route you're going to be taking anyway because it's all quote-unquote forward. We'll go for that and then we'll, uh, we'll probably end up double-walling it too. Just for extra security. I haven't done that on this side or this side. But uh, we'll see if we need to one day. And then by doing it out of the granite, it is all fireproof. So if a fire happens outside, we don't have to worry about it leaking inside. Alternatively, you can do a concrete uh, flooring, like three or four tiles wide, to just act as a fire stop. Also works quite well. Although I think, interestingly, is wood floor also fireproof? No, it's not. 22%. Okay. Yeah, 0% on the concrete. Thought so. Maybe that's throne room, too. Right. Where do we want the throne room? At some point, we'll have to move our walls a bit. I think probably move this wall to over here. Well, not really move the wall, just get up another wall here, and then lock off the tunnels a bit. Other oh, Muffalo Revenge. Uh, you, you fucked it up pretty good, though. Jaw, body, couple legs. Easy. Well done. I like when they go for the legs. It really slows them down so you can run away if you need to. And we are fermenting. It's happening. It is happening. Good work, Kieran. And just to confirm. Slept in the cold. Mm. Uh, cooking skill. 1368. Let's see how much that increases by. 1602. Yeah, it's a few hundred experience. Well, a couple hundred experience. That ain't bad. Looks like 231 experience per or so. Yeah, I'll take that. That's a really good way to get up there. It helps a lot that you're burning passion. You can almost cook a meal. I almost trust you. Just, uh... Oof, Luke can never do cleaning. Right. That was disabled when you became a, uh... Your title. Clean the kitchen up a little bit, please. Yuck. And going to have a quick hunt. All right. Fine. The hops. Working on being sewed. Okay. Sewn. Sound. Sound. Well, one of those, I'm sure. 
Another Muffalo Revenge. Man, what is your stealth stat? Well, I mean, this one's like right there, and it's Buddy's aggro too. So... 4.5. You're in a bit of trouble, Kieran, with your point-blank hunting technique. Giving you the machine pistol. Not terribly wise. Not at all. Well, um... Bring a few people down. I guess leave a daddy loader Lou? Yeah, and Dossix, why not? Get most of the colony down here. Karen? You're gonna have to run. You're basically fucked though, I'm sorry to say. Because this guy is way quicker than you. And you will not be able to shoot point blank with this? Or is this a fancy type of weapon where you can? You got a shot off on the front leg. Is it slowed enough? 4.3. No, it's not. But a damn fine try. Got another shot off. In the leg again. You are trying. 4.23 still. Karen. Keep it up. You're locked into melee now. Ooh, it missed. And there's a raid there. Attacking immediately. That complicates a lot. A couple bolt-action rifles, an auto pistol, and a steel knife. Wow. Uh, age 99? Excuse me? What? Who the fuck are you, humps? Dementia, hearing loss, frail, old gunshot. Dude, you're ancient as hell. Hardly heard of shooting, and you're wielding a bolt-action rifle. What? Why? Shooting accuracy 85.4. It seems a lot better than it should be. Okay. And then Flare. Pessimist. Nimble. 19 years old. Zero shooting skill. No health conditions. Okay. Well, that's the two easiest snipers in the world. Shooting zero. Pierce. What? Okay. Melee eight. Awkwardly, the person with the knife is the scariest one here. Um, my current concern is that the, because they're attacking immediately, I'm concerned that the Muffalo may down Kieran and then these guys just immediately go for kidnapping. We need you to run like very fast, very, very quickly. We need to maybe... Because we can't really cut across anymore. You guys got to get over there the fastest way possible. Karen, run! Just play dead, Karen. They're already shooting at you. Ah! There's the guy with a knife. Okay, you're downed. They're going for the muffalo. I hope they don't try to kidnap and leave. Change the plan again. Come down this way. Just direct route. They're just throwing bullets. What's your actual chance to hit with the pistol? 9.1. You're, you're laying down, so it's 0 0.87. 0 0.4 on humps. 4. 1.8. <laughs> and, and flare. 3, 5, 0.59%. Yeah. Kieran shouldn't get fucking hit. For free once after which you must wait to use it for free again. You can use the aid more frequently, but it costs royal favor to do so. Right. So they're trying to get down that muffalo. Our range is quite good. You could like hang out by the tree here. And leave it down by that tree. Dossix, maybe like on a rock. Lou. Do we care about House? He's here. Tortured artist. Pretty. They have minus eight all the time always. But they have a 50% chance to get a creativity inspiration after a mental break. 
It seems really weird. I kind of like the playstyle for that, though. I can see a lot of potential awesome stuff, because you could be... When you get your art skill up there, you could bound out pretty regularly legendary works. Like, that's huge money. You just have to put up with their breaks. I'd prefer if you were a tortured artist with chemical fascination or so. So then you would very often go on these little mini breaks and benches on drugs. But currently you'd be doing like, you know, probably hiding in your room and... I think I go for you. We'll rescue Kieran first. 22 hours, just a lot of bruises, cracks. You got shot in the torso by a rifle, annoyingly. One of them managed to get you. Lou? Rescue Kieran. Ah. They got the muffalo down. Ow. Ow! Stop hitting me, you shut. <laughs> I'm curious, what's a cooldown? Distraction! Hey, and I cannot control them. We've got a flak, flak lady with SMG. They know what they're doing. Theodoro also flak with the bio-coded LMG. Not the greatest at shooting. Bio-coded chain shotgun, seven shooting. And the bio-coded just means that if they were downed and all that, the, um... The Death Acidifier will take it out, even if they don't have it on, like, wherever it may be in the world or so. So you can absolutely not game these people for free gear. Okay, well, that should be a nice distraction. We're all in pretty good cover and everything. Lou taking one of the more annoying routes to get everybody. They're fleeing. Capture house. Capture house. Haul the rifle. Dossix. Haul the silver. Leva. Haul the pistol. Thank you, Trooper Squad. I have no idea what your cooldown is. A while. Okay, good to know. Um, house? Hello? I thought I... Okay, you can capture house then. That could have gone better. How are you doing? 13 hours. Destroyed a left lung. Man, fucking rifles. Bullshit accuracy. It's like the... Somebody mentioned on a stream at one point. It's like the inverse of XCOM accuracy. In XCOM, you have a 98% chance of hitting and you miss hugely and you like end up doing friendly fire some garbage but in this game if they've got like a two percent chance to hit they will nail it every single fucking time nobody really else able to help out with this everybody's kind of busy Ooh, wm interplanetary an exotic good trader ship is coming by that's good because i think i want somebody other than lou to, to do this. I hear more shooting. Oh. Uh, okay. If you want. It's not going terribly well for them. That was friendly fire. Damn, maybe not. Oh, they, they took a lot of damage. And then the chemical burns from the acidifier melting their gear. And they're fleeing. Wow. kind of curious if you maybe just, like, go down and we can rescue you or so. How we doing here? Still working on it, Leva. You got 20 hours. You'll be okay. 
and Lou. 11 hours. Okay. We have a bit of herbal medicine, right? We got a bit. Oh, marble large sculpture. Okay, one second. We'll take a look at that in a minute. We'll give we'll give you both herbal medicine. House, no medicine. That's all easy stuff. We'll try to recruit, I suppose. Like you're not terrible. You're healing a lot of bruises on here. I was kind of hoping you'd just like use a little bit on him for the bleeding thing. It, it kind of went all in though. Tending to Leva. No medicine. What do you... No, you're, you're set to no medicine. Doctors care, no medicine. Why are you... Tend to Leva, no medicine. Leva is currently set, no medicine. Why are you trying to haul shit? Zion, please. Okay. And then I suppose house, but uh, that can wait. Yeah, you need a nap later. Have some recreation and then have a nap. They're healed up. They'll be fine. Starvation on Kieran. Uh, quick feed Kieran. And then Lou. Poor Zion. You'll get rest soon, I promise. I think I'm going to deconstruct most of these animal sleeping boxes. Not a whole lot that we have can actually use them. We'll keep a few. Now I'm going for the nap. Okay. Get generally caught up with rest a little bit. You're scheduled until 11th hour, so you got a couple more hours of sleep. That'll be fine. Pace put you back in order. Six eight four eight seven zero nine eight seven three four eight. Yeah, yeah. That's decent experience. It gets up there. Hey, there's machining. They can uh, build machining to craft guns, grenades, flak armor, and disassemble dead mechanoids for resources. Prosthetics. And our machining table, 150 steel, five components we can put up here. Yeah. I suppose I should also switch these over to like proper, oops, proper seating. Heck, can I do armchairs actually? Probably, right? I think I've got enough of some leather for it. 231 blue fur. 110 light leather, some patch leather, 115. Can I do... You can do cloth. Heck, I can probably do alpaca wool. Yeah, that's also possible. Need more alpaca for it. I think I will. We'll go with a light leather armchair. For now, I'll just put them in the middle. I'm going to reassign seating and all that, because I feel like the research bench should at least have a really proper one. Blue fur we can do a couple with. And then cloth we can do a couple with. Very good. And there's more cloth out here that still needs to be hauled. We actually have 345 cloth, not 246. Maybe we ignore the light leather one. Because sometimes you can only use leather stuff for it, and then we can just build, like, an extra blue for armchair. Or no. Uh. Cloth. Okay. Kieran, how you doing? Oh, right. Trade ship also. Fuck. Uh, Rakete Vashbear, quickly. 
Damn, I almost forgot. I always forget that kind of stuff. Thecla's Shack of Treasure. A whole shack of it. Five glitter world medicine and an art Nero trainer. Oh. A mechanoid is sleeping nearby and there may be an unknown threat. Alright. Yeah, maybe we do that. Maybe. Oh yeah, and the art also. It's only poor. It's titled Lose Plant Growing Skills 68 Beauty. It is shaped like Lou trudging through snow and shivering uncontrollably. Two frozen mouse corpses surround the area, the lower part dominated by a village. It refers to Lou getting hypothermia on the 10th of September. Plant growing skills. Are you saying Lou sucks at growing? Is that what you're getting at? Because Lou's actually pretty okay at it. I don't know. Okay. Um. Throw it in the dining area. Shit. Good beauty. 68 of it. They've got more boombalopes. We'll for now say yes to the boombalopes. I doubt I can afford it though. Neutram, I mean, don't really care too much about components. I think I'll manage. The advanced components. Glitter World Medicine, I'm okay on for the moment. I just need a little bit of it. Heck print. We can like learn to make that stuff. A tech print for the research project, specialized limbs. Can range from scraps of paper with diagrams all the way to advanced self-contained teaching machines. Regardless of form, they play the same role. They give your researchers the confidence that an idea is possible and a rough idea of the designs used in more established societies. Our researchers need the foundational knowledge offered by tech prints to know where to start on a given technology. Only after tech prints have been applied can your researchers work out the fine details of how to make use of the technology in your particular situation. Okay, so we just need it... ...on hand, and they like bring it to the table and use it then I assume. Specialized limbs though teaches us how to make bionic limbs for specific purposes both combat and labor. Thrill Arm, Field Hand, and Power Claw. Nice. For only 1190, that seems quite nice. And then some more Neuro Trainers. Man, Neuro Trainers went down in price, I think. These used to be like... Man, once upon a time, they were pretty cheap. You could get so much silver so quickly in the game. And then Neuro Trainers became pretty expensive, upwards of like a couple thousand silver, to where if you weren't intending to a mass amount of... a uh, huge amount of money, they, they were pretty much out of reach. They seem... Quite a lot more accessible now. There's also a bionic arm, a detoxifier stomach, ooh, and a pain stopper. The pain stopper makes you immune to pain. However, that's it. I thought it reduced mood also. Huh, just straight up gets rid of pain. Well, that's nice. Made out of the machining table, huh? Well, okay. Um. Then you're just a bunch of joy and decorative things. Boy, I'd I'd like to have the bionic arm, but I absolutely cannot afford that, like at all. I can't even afford a boombalope. I think they're not willing to sell a whole or buy a whole lot. And we can do that. Sell the damn sculpture. Buy another boomlope. Do I care about a boomlope that much, though? I feel like no. Like, it'd be nice. They don't have a male boomlope. If they had a male boomlope and we could at least get a breeding pair, then I'd say, you know what? Yeah, maybe let's go for it. But since it's just females, I think I'll pass, honestly. So do I want anything, then? I don't think so. The bionic arm, but I can't afford that, so that's out. I think we pass, unfortunately. They got some cool stuff, but I just don't have the money for it right now. Damn, what a shame. Stab Scar, itchy. 
So that's a little bit of pain, right? You know, 1% pain. So that's always a minus 3. Mixed in with the Torch Artist. Uh, you won't be too bad to break. We'll just have to make sure we give you minor breaks. And I, like, just caught that in time. Wow. Can you, uh, can you install this, please? It just, it just needs to be drug over. It's very easy, Leva. Thank you. So now... Still just slightly impressive. Rich, very spacious, ugly, and dirty. Ugly? Well, from the dirt. I mean, if we clean up the place a bit. Neutral, slightly dirty. Neutral? Yeah, a bit of dirt beneath the lamp over there. That's it, though. What the hell? All right, if you say so. I'm gonna put in a vent here. The chem fuel generator is producing a bit of heat. It's 35 degrees C in there right now. If we vent into the prisoner area, that should be generally okay to keep that warm enough. We'll have to see if it gets too hot. I don't think it will be, but um, we'll see. Something to keep an eye on. It's cold in there. Everybody's sleeping in the cold when they're in there. So I figured to improve their mood a little bit. We do that, because it's minus four all the time. And awful barrack, we could see about like smoothing the walls and everything like that, because have we gotten the walls done? We're just finishing the wall down there. The wall's finished. We're finally walled in, so Manhunter packs we can generally hide from eventually. See about smoothing just the mountain wall. Make it a little bit nicer in there. And then we can also smooth the floor, I suppose. That'll take a little while. But, uh... Also something to do. Daddy Loader working on the armchairs. What do we got? Takes a bit of time. What a tease. What a power issue. I turned off the cremator and the machining table or electric smelter, since there's nothing to really, uh, nothing to really do anything with. The smithy can also be turned off. That's currently not working. It'd be nice if it only used power when they were on. Garen can walk again. Nice. Flicking switch. Good, good. We have a bit of wind finally. We didn't have wind at all overnight. So now we're okay. A kilowatt roughly plus. Thank you, everybody. Although, Kieran, with your, like, nasty manipulation, maybe you just work on the vent? Because I'd, I'd like these to be actually, like, decent. A normal armchair gives you the 0.8 threshold already. Ideally, better than normal would be good. I think we're capable of excellent and stuff like that. In fact, I know we are. We've already got a good table here, and that's been there for ages. Oh my god, they take ages to do. Ugh. There we go. Worst case, it gets too hot, we can close the vent. That helps a bunch. It's up to a very comfortable 20 c you know. No, Kieran. No. Rest until healed, Karen. Stop it. A good cloth armchair. Point nine comfort. We're getting there. 